Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being here with me today for your tarot reading. This is going to be a reading looking into your situation. So anything that's sort of on your mind, anything that's plaguing you, bothering you uh, in your love life, anything that you sort of have going on and you're wondering, how's this going to work out? What's going to play out? What's the advice? This is what this reading is going to be about. So stick around and we'll see. Uh, before I begin, um, please feel free to sign up to uh, channel membership. You'll get access to bonus reading and extended versions. Uh, if you want to subscribe, that would be great. I'd love to have you on board. Um, feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoy the content. Uh, and for private readings, please reach out to me directly and um, I'll send you uh, the booking details. I am currently accepting those. So, okay. Let's see what's coming up for you, Pisces. What's the overall energy for your current situation? Okay, Three of Swords. Little bit of a pickle here, Pisces. There's options in love or a love triangle. There's some deceit that's been going on. And I sense that a lot of you out there are hurting or you're trying to reason between your heart and your head. It may be around an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, but I feel like there's a big decision you have to make. It's an important decision because it's a number three vibration. So this could affect your life. This is big. This isn't minor. Uh, okay, you're doing it tough, I see. Okay, there could be a betrayal or something that was said and it's like you don't feel like you can recover from it. Not now anyway. Uh, I think in time things will pass, but we'll see what comes up. I think in time things will get a little bit easier. You're going to have your wish. So whatever it is that you're intending to want, you know, the outcome that you want from this current situation, you're going to get your wish. So that's reassuring. Okay, this, this air sign, whoever this person is, they're going to fight for you. Uh, or you need to let them fight for you, Pisces. Some of you are out there, you want to reach out, you're obsessing, you're upset, you want to go off at them, you want to yell at them. They've done something here, they're trying to trigger a reaction from you, and I think they've been successful, or they will be successful if this hasn't happened already. Um, they've got some nerve to do this to you. There's a lot of ego coming into play here, the card sitting in the middle, six of wands. So they're trying to show something here to you, Pisces. I get someone is trying to show that they've moved on. Definitely someone here flaunting a rebound relationship that I'm getting. Um, it's not real, okay? Eight of Cups tells me there's a situation that's going to lead into a breakup. Um, so if this person is in a rebound relationship, chances are a uh, majority of these relationships are not going to work out. It's not going to end in a happily ever after. There's too much emotional baggage. Uh, there's too much history. And the moon is coming up, so they still have feelings for you, Pisces. You're very much still in their subconscious mind and energy. And I'm sorry, but they can't get over you in just one day. It's not going to work. Um, I think what they're doing now is they're trying to tease and, and, and dangle this other person. They're trying to tease you, uh, trying to get a reaction. But I get showmanship. They're trying to show you, oh, look, I'm better off without you. I can do this. I, I'm good. I don't need you. Um, look at me. You know, I stopped drinking. Or uh, look at me. I'm out partying. I'm living the life I wanted to uh, that I couldn't when I was with you because you held me back. You controlled me. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's all just a massive tantrum that they're throwing. Does it hurt? Yeah. Yeah, it does. It hurts to be on the receiving end. I know. I know. Mentally, you're like, I'm done with this person. I can't deal with their games anymore. Emotionally, you're like, you still love them. And that's why we have both. That's why we have head and heart. We need to consider the opinions of both. Okay? We can't just ignore the mind. We can't just ignore the heart. Uh, and I can see you're wrestling with this, Pisces. So there's, you've, you've got a lot on your plate here. And I think this person's fierceness, that ego, isn't healthy. It's probably making the situation much worse, to be honest. Ace of Swords, I do feel like someone's going to fight for you here. Uh, or it's like you have to stand up for yourself. So if they're trying to provoke a reaction from you, they get some pleasure in knowing that you'll call them up or you'll text them and be like, what, you're seeing someone else, blah, 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 this happened, this happened. That's what they want in a sick, perverse way. That's what they want. So they know that you still care. They want to get that 
emotional reaction from you. I think for others, if you sort of be civil, play it calm, neutral, and don't react, you're going to get a very different response from them, and they're going to become more desperate for your attention to the point where they might come back begging and pleading and fighting, fighting with words for your love, for your acknowledgement, um, for your attention. And I think that's where the Nine of Cups is going to come in. I do. I feel like some of you need to turn your back on this person. Maybe not forever. Maybe it's temporary uh, to teach them a lesson. I feel like there's someone here who needs to see what life is like without you. Uh, and it's not going to be too pretty. They might on social media that may they may look like they're happy going out with friends meeting new people you know doing all these things that they wanted to do why are they doing it why now why when you're gone obviously it's because they're trying to fill a void and trying to show they've they've leveled up and they've bettered themselves and you know they're finally getting or you know working out or getting a promotion or finally getting their stuff together and um they're motivated by this whatever this is but you know just be careful that that person isn't really using someone else I don't know if there's some of you Pisceans out there who you're being used as a rebound you'd know it though um, you're very intuitive and you'd be a big red flag like that big red heart and the red cloak I do want to say there is a red flag if you are involved in a love triangle this person may be using you to get back to someone else um, genuinely to be honest i feel a lot of you have fallen for this person and you may be the rebound i know it's hard to hear some of you may be in that situation others it might be like you pisces maybe you're dangling someone in front of this person and then the readings kind of flipped um why are you doing it though you're doing it because you genuinely love this rebound you want to hook up you want to connect or because you want to make this person jealous and you're trying to fill the void and replace them in a way you know it's hard to say which person fits into which role in this third party dynamic. Uh, but I do want to say there's a situation where you need to remove yourself from. I think the moon is like telling me to tell you to recollect your thoughts. Um, and it's a cycle. For some of you, this has happened before. So you're no stranger to these sort of dealings. And if it's happened before, it's going to happen again. The moon is repetition and, and, and cyclical things. So... Pisces, some of you have been involved in this before with the same person. So they, they've done it more than once. Chances are they'll do it again. People don't change overnight. They can change. Absolutely, they can change if they really want to. Yes, wholeheartedly, I believe that. But they're not going to change in the space of a week or a month even or like a few months. It would take longer than that. So obviously this distancing is... is going to be different for everyone watching but I do feel like they need nostalgia they need to miss you and right now they have this other person to play with but what's going to happen when that relationship breaks down um, they're going to come back to you I feel like that's where that ace of swords is coming in and that's where you'll have the opportunity to sort of stand up for yourself and tell them what's what if you don't I have a feeling they're just going to keep doing it all over uh, all over again Pisces you know you're there's only so much you can handle. You're a very, very resilient sign. Uh, and you'll do a lot for the people you love. But unfortunately, some people really take advantage of that. And they abuse it. And is it fair? Absolutely not. Is it hurtful? Absolutely yes. And I don't want to see you end up in that position. I want to see you happy. Which eventually I do see that with the Nine of Cups. But I think it's going to take a while to get there with this person. They've got lessons to learn. They do. Um... And then it can be an ending. For some of you, you're thinking you're going to be happier without them altogether. But they may come back. They may make an appearance. Appearance, I do. Um, it's going to be more based on how you handle the situation and how you react to it, uh, to, to what it is that they're doing. And friends and family are getting involved in this somehow. I do see either you're talking to your sisters, brothers, parents, cousins, friends. It's like other people are getting involved or there might be some drama that escalates. <laughs> I want to warn you, Pisces, be careful about getting other people involved, um, especially like online, having fights online or, uh, you know, 
putting up pictures and then deleting them or nasty comments or anything like that. You can, it can get a bit messy when emotions are involved. So I just want to warn you, don't have that last glass of wine. Um, you know, if you're online there and you're feeling upset and everything, try to have a little bit of more self-control, emotional self-control um, in the situation here. Because words run deep, that sword is sharp and everyone notices it. You can't, it's like, it's out there. Once it's out there, it's out there. So um, I feel like it could, there's potential for things to get a little bit more messy. So that's something you need to be careful of. I'm going to wrap it up there though, Pisces. So good luck with it all. Um, I have been as specific as possible. Um, thank you for tuning in, everyone. It does mean a lot. Um, feel free to like, uh, share, subscribe, and also to sign up for the membership. And of course, if you are after some personal guidance, please feel free to email me to book in for a private reading. Otherwise, all the best, Pisces. Lots of love and bye for now.